What's up guys, it's Royal FIFA Gaming here and welcome to the 11th episode of the Severe Theme 16 Career Mode Series and we're starting off this episode with a bit of transfer business Sell to Vigo, put a £6 million bid for Jose Reyes he has only got one appearance this year and has been on our transfer list for quite a while so we'll be happy to get rid of him and as you can see guys I did re-offer the contract for the players we were going after on the pre-contract expiry because the deals did expire in last episode so we're hopefully trying to tie up one of them deals as we can only afford one of them but the first game of the episode does fall, fall in the Liga and it's an absolute massive game a top of the table clash Atletico Madrid v Sevilla we're hoping to get the three points to stop our bad run of form and get above Atletico Madrid in the table and the first chance of the episode falls in the fifth minute as we sloppily give the ball away and Cope picks it up and plays it into the veteran midfielder Gabby eventually it finds a way to Gundogan and Koke nearly turns it in to his own net but fortunately for us he manages to save himself for the last minute but in the 30th minute here it's Atletico Madrid coming forward again it falls to Griezmann and a great save from Kaylor Navas there to keep it at nil nil in this game very good shot from Griezmann on his weaker right foot and we're extremely lucky to still be level early on in this match but now we're pushing on just a few minutes later in the 35th minute it's Yegvin Canopoli anchor who hasn't scored in a while he really could have done with that goal he's done very well with the skills cut inside and a good block from the Atletico Madrid man to keep it still level in this match despite the chances and just a few moments later Atletico Madrid come forward once again. The pacey Colombian Jackson Martinez come forward. Kaylor Navas is out. He's got to place it into Griezmann, who has a simple open goal. And guys, I'm not too sure what I was doing it with Kaylor Navas. I come out of the goal. I thought I could reach the ball first with Navas, but unfortunately Griezmann got there first. Well, Martinez got there first, put the ball into Griezmann, who won the header over our defender, and unfortunately, we go 1-0 down, probably deservedly in this match, as Atletico Madrid had really been piling the pressure on. But just before half-time, we win a corner. Canopoli anchor from the short, short corner puts it in to Mark Bartra, our young centre-back. I signed him in the summer from Barcelona. He's been fantastic for us so far. He's been developing really well and finally gets his first goal for the club. Brilliant ball in from Canoplianka after the short corner. Atletico Madrid was not, were not expecting the short corner. Put the ball into Bartra and a simple finish from the Spaniard. And we do get level in this match just before half time, and very luckily, I must say, as well. But Atletico Madrid looking to get back into the league in the 64th minute as it's played into Oliver Torres. He knocks it back for Juan Fran, trying to find his man. He gets past the defender, plays it in the middle. Great ball into Jackson Martinez, who puts Atletico Madrid 2 1 up in this game. They'd had loads of chances in this one, they definitely deserve to be in the lead. It's that man Jackson Martinez. He was causing me so many problems this game. Him and Griezmann up front were absolutely deadly. They're the two men on the score sheet for Atletico Madrid. Poor defending from our poor goalkeeping from Kaylor Navas. Unfortunately our defenders could not win it against Jackson Martinez and Atletico Madrid deservedly I must say regain their 2-1 league and it does look like they are going to hold up to win this game but in the 78th minute we are trying to fight we're trying to come back Yegvin Gnoplianka gets past one man he gets past the second with a cutting great ball into Mbolo and Bolo knocks it off for Tremolinas great chance for Tremolinas on his week of right for brilliant opportunity as he was in on goal but unfortunately he could not convert into the back of the net and it's game over unfortunately guys there it is Atletico Madrid have buried us off and I must admit we did come close a few times late on in this game to equalise but it was Atletico Madrid's game good ball into the former Borussia Dortmund player in the game and Ike Gundogan puts a good header into the back of the net and unfortunately does put it 3-1 in this match but can we get a consolation goal at the end and we can't even get a consolation goal and bolo shot was easily saved by the keeper and unfortunately guys that is how the game would end the poor run of games continue unfortunately 
We do stay behind Atletico Madrid in the table, and that is a poor loss for us. But as you can see by the stats in the second half, that we definitely des did deserve to get something out of the game. That was ridiculous considering the chances at the end. We, we just was not clinical enough in that match. But as you can see here, after the sale of Reyes, we do have a bit of money in the side. So I've put that all into the wage budget. And we can sign Joel Matip and two other and two other contract expiries. We're looking for the other players, seeing who we want to get. And we do eventually decide on Sophie and Feguli to come in next year. So Faguli will come in as the first choice right back and Lamella will drop to the bench. And as you can see, we still do have 109k. So we definitely can get a decent player with that. So we're looking for more players to try and sign on a contract expiry here. Gaston Ramirez and Equal Lovetsy, both backup players. But they'll be brilliant for squad depth in this team if we can get them into the side. As you can see, Gaston Ramirez rejected our first offer. So we do go in with 109k which is all our money and again he rejects it because he does want a bigger role in the squad so we do offer him important first team player in the end as that's the role he will be getting and he does accept it eventually our next pre-contract signing Gaston Ramirez that's the third pre-contract signing of the episode fantastic episode for transfers Three brilliant pre-contract signings to come in next year and hopefully they'll really improve and take this club to the next level and hopefully look for the La Liga title next year and maybe even the Champions League title. But as you can see, we are seeing the Copa de España quarter-final match against Las Palmas and already after half an hour, we are 2-0 in the lead. We have too much quality for Las Palmas. Canopli Anchor and Batshuayi getting the goals. Koke and Banega also joining the fun. Koke and Banega also picking up goals and we do win the game very comfortably in the end 4-0 and do progress into the cup semi-finals very promising now in the league we are in a not bad position in the league okay and also we are in the Champions League round of 16 and the semi-finals of the cup so a very promising season for us so far but as you can see the second and final game of the episode will be at home to Levante, hoping to bounce back after that league loss against Atletico Madrid and get a comfortable win at home to Levante. And the first chance of the match falls as Hector Villalba cuts into the middle, but a great save from Ruben, and he tips it over the bar for Levante and promising signs at the start of this game as our young Argentinian calls in danger like he always does and Crondelli here puts it back to Mbolo good opportunity for Mbolo puts it into Gal Kakuta and straight from the resulting corner we have another chance Gal Kakuta shot it was in the end it was a good shot on another great save from Ruben the veteran keeper and we're very unlucky not to be in the lead but that was in the eighth minute and now we're going all the way into the 76th minute because nothing happened in this game whatsoever and it's Kakuta once again with the opportunity but unfortunately he could not convert it into the back of the net but from the resulting front can we get a late winner it's thrown into Hector Vieva the dangerous Argentinian plays it into Kolodziak into Konoplyanka back into Kolodziak and a poor finish from the centre back on his weaker right foot and unfortunately guys that is how the game would finish only four highlights in this one a very poor game another one of them games on legendary difficulty which you just cannot seem to break through the defence they were just passing it around all game very frustrating game and unfortunately that is a very poor episode for us a draw and a loss in a league, especially to Levante, who we definitely should have been beaten at home. But as you can see, we're moving on into transfer deadline day. Our business has surely been done in this window. We're just playing out deadline day to see if there is any big offers for our players. Valencia coming for Kukovciak, but we definitely do not want to sell our pole. Polish holding midfielder. So we do reject all offers and disallow the future offers. We're advancing now to four hours. Another notification comes up. Hector Vialba for Chelsea. But there's no way we are going to sell Hector Vialba, one of our brilliant, most brilliant prospects, to 16th in the Park Place Premier League, a, pro a possible relegation um, 
So there's no way we're selling Hector Villalba for that cheap. And the final transfer offer comes in for Mark Bartra. Sorry, I don't think he is the final transfer offer. He is from Borussia Mönchengladbach. And we do counter offer 35 million just to see what they would say. And as you can see, they only want to pay 26 million. So we'll not be getting rid of our young Spaniard. And the final transfer offer. Come with real Donald and Bola. Obviously, we won't have time to sell him as there's only one hour left on the clock. Twenty-two million pounds, a decent sum of money, but as you can see, there, seventy-nine rated, eighteen years old, and I did say as a bit of a joke, I want a hundred million pounds from Crystal Palace. And the transfer window deadline day did end there, so a brilliant deadline day for us. We did get the deals wrapped up that we want in this episode. Feguri. Matic and also Gaston Ramirez as a backup. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. As you can see, we're sitting sixth in the table. They're a bit disappointing, but I've been wealthy gaming. No.